Welcome my peeps, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'll be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart. My peeps, my peoples. Peep squad is in the building, baby. We going to the top, to the top, to the top, baby. We're going to bring others with us. So please become a part of notification squad. Peep squad, hit that notification bell, baby. Know each and every time I drop a video and tell me what's on your mind. So let's get into it. Let's talk about Real Housewives of Atlanta. And let's talk about Wendy Williams and NeNe Leakes. And also a recent interview that Kenya more did and she basically was not holding back at all with us weekly baby so let's just talk about it let's talk about kenya Moore. you know in the recent news wendy william dropped the tea that nene leaks was going to quit real housewives of atlanta or she wanted to quit real housewives of atlanta other people are thinking that nene leaks wanted to quit something else and she wanted to quit greg that she wanted to quit her husband she's ready to move on and do some things that's the alleged rumor nene already knows that people are out here speculating what her huge secret is but we don't know but kenya moore you know when she did her interview she had a lot to say baby and yes she did she was saying a whole lot she wasn't holding back at all she said that Nene Leaks is absolutely no friend to nobody. She ain't no friend at all. And she says she thinks she should leave the show. She should leave the show immediately. She should go. She should bounce. Because all she does is create negativity and the atmosphere that should not be on the show series at all. And, you know, Nene Leaks ain't bringing the heat. So Kenya Moore is just like she's not a friend and she hasn't been a friend to nobody. And then on top of that, when Kenya Moore, you know, when she did not return for season 11, everybody else reached out to her talked to her they had conversations with her people kept her in the loop but nene leaks did not keep her in the loop and they were supposed to be friends and she don't understand that situation with Nene Leaks. Why Nene didn't say what's up to her? Why Nene didn't reach out and talk to her? And she said that, you know, all the other ladies did. That's how she was in the loop. And plus, Kenya Moore got married. And then on top of that, she was trying to have a baby. She was doing her IVF treatment. She was traveling overseas basically to go see shamans too as well and she said when she finally made an appearance on season 11 nini called her a buffalo and was very mean towards her so therefore you know what girl if you want to leave you can bounce you can go nini leaks and that's how kenya moore feels she is not she's not empathetic she don't have no emotions for nini leaks at all she was like see you later bye she don't care what heavy secret that nini is carrying on her shoulder kenya moore is here to stay baby she was gone for a season and and now she got what she wants. She got her husband. They may not be together right now, but she got her baby Brooklyn. And even though her marriage ain't what it's supposed to be, and it might not be a fairy tale ending or a fairy tale marriage, she came on the show and she has been lit and she's been chopping it up with the blogs and she's been chopping it up on her Instagram, chopping it up on Twitter, basically keeping people informed to let them know that she's here to stay. And if she got beef with you, she's coming for you. She's going to keep her foot on your neck. And that's just what it is because, you know, she's overcome a lot. She didn't think that she was going to have a baby. She didn't think she was going to get married. And now she accomplished that you think she gonna let anybody stop her from winning and being the hbic on real housewives of Atlanta? you got another thing coming right now can't nobody stop kenya Moore. nobody unless mark daly gets in the mix and he started saying some foul shit but other than that kenya Moore is here she like it's like when you have victory in your personal life when you go to work it's gonna be victory there and if it ain't victory there you're gonna make it victory there and that's what it seems like kenya Moore is doing you know she bloop she got out you know yovana 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 ain't in the picture no more. Yovana done ran, ran scared. <laughs> and she called Nene out for messing with b Scott And actually, you know, making this whole shit up when it comes to Snake Gate and, um, and, um, postcard gate like she's been doing it like she has been making sure that you keep her name and in, in your mouth for real for real and then on top of that she will get on twitter and talk about you too as well she is no host bar yovana didn't know what she was getting into when she came for kenya moore and then on top of that kenya moore is about to come for tanya sims and you know tanya i don't know baby you know you gotta do what you gotta do but kenya moore ain't playing with you at all it's gonna be what it's gonna be and it's like she got some new powerful energy kenya moore ain't weeping she ain't crying she ain't got no regrets she's going full force heavy into the situation so you guys tell me what you think about kenya moore saying bye nene you ain't a friend to nobody i was like 
damn, Kenya, you ain't going to stop. You're going to keep your foot on her neck. Like, Lord, have mercy. So you guys let me know what you think about that situation. I was just like, mm, mm, mm. It is really going down like you wouldn't believe. And now on top of that, we got Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams is out here saying that I did not violate girl code. No, I didn't. I did not at all. So don't come at me with that situation. And basically she said, I got a big secret that, you know, I'm holding on to. So yes, there is girl code. I do have girl code. I didn't reveal NeNe Leak's big secret. I was like, damn, just saying she got a big secret is revealing that she got a big, big, big secret. Like, come Oh, Wendy don't care. But Wendy says that she has sat down. She has talked to Nini. You know, they have, you know, hashed things out. And, you know, Nini forgives Wendy. And Wendy says she didn't mean no harm. She didn't mean no malice intent. She was just like, it was just hot tea that was sitting there on her lap. And I guess Wendy Williams wants Nene Leakes to reveal whatever story she has with her and leave Bravo in the dust, baby. Leave Bravo in the dust. I was like, Lord have mercy. So Wendy Williams is just like, she's keeping her mouth closed. She didn't, she only said that she's quitting and that's it. She didn't do, she didn't do too much or say too much. She feels like she didn't violate any type of girl code. But to me, you shouldn't even said anything about her texting you. But you know, it is what it is. It's the nature of the beast. Wendy is the queen of media. And you know, that text message came through while she was sitting on the couch. She was with Jerry O and that conversation with Jerry O wasn't really that thrilling. And then to have that to have that tea on your on your lap in your hand you know she just couldn't help it you know it's just like a kid wanting candy it's like a baby wanting milk she just couldn't help it it was just what it was and it was right there it's just like if three thousand dollars is sitting next to you and you got zero in the bank it's just right there it's hard to resist for real, for real. And then on top of that, she wanted to break the story, you know, with Nene Lee, because that's her girl. That's her friend. So that's what she wanted to do and be the one with the first scoop because it ain't nothing like for a journalist or a TV personality or a TV reporter or a YouTube creator, you know, to break a story or a blog to break a story. That is like the infamous. It feels so good when you break a story. You know, when you hear blogs and you hear people say, well, I broke the story first, you know, it just gives them so much adrenaline them and makes them feel so good. It's just, it's just like working out. You know what I mean? It's just like, you, it's, it's a good thing. And so Wendy Williams was filled with all that. You know, it was like a high baby and she had to say what she had to say, but she didn't go too far. But some people are speculating that Wendy got it wrong and it's not NeNe Leakes quitting Real Housewives of Atlanta. It's this Nene Leaks quitting Greg because she couldn't quit him while he was sick. Allegedly, this is what the blogs are saying. This is what people are saying that Nene Leaks want out of the relationship. And you know, you can't leave. You can't leave your husband of your wife. You know that are sick, that has cancer, that's suffering because you would get so much backlash. And Wendy Williams was like, yeah, I was getting backlash. I wasn't trying to put my friend out there like that. So we have that situation. So I was like, okay. And moving on to NeNe Leaks, she got on her YouTube channel. Let me tell you, NeNe Leaks on her YouTube channel, that bedroom looks like it's lonely. It looks like it's cold. It looks like she's miserable and she don't feel good because she feels like all the four walls are caving in on her. And she's trying to get out and she's trying to fight. It's like she's backed up against the wall and pretty soon she's going to come out and she's going to start pulling and kicking and stumping and throwing and setting fires, baby. Because right now she don't look like she is happy. She looks like she's sad. She looks very vulnerable and weak too as well because the situation with Cynthia, Cynthia's not her girl no more. She feels like um, Candy's not her girl and she already knows Kenya ain't her girl and then her and Portia are trying to make amends but it's not really, really a friendship and you know, Marlo Hampton, she don't really feel Marlo Hampton has her back because she feel like Marlo let the ladies talk about her. That's what she said previously on her YouTube channel, baby and it doesn't look like anybody else sleeps in that bedroom but NeNe Leaks. It doesn't look like anybody else sleeps in there at all. It just looks like she's in that room by herself and she stays up in that room. When she, Sometimes I get lonely, I stay locked up in my room by the temptations. Um, 
that's what it seems like with Nene leaks. It don't look like nobody sleep on the other side of the bed. And I don't know if Nene and Greg are still sleeping in separate rooms, but when um, Greg had pancreas cancer and he had a colostomy bag, he was sleeping in a different bedroom. I don't know if he's sleeping in a different bedroom now, but it seems like he might be sleeping in a different bedroom for real, for real. I was just like, mm, mm, mm. It's going down like you wouldn't believe. I was like, Nene. And Nene just seems so defeated. She just seems like it's just so much going on. And she addresses, you know, going out with Marlo Hampton and filming behind the scenes. And basically letting the producers know that she feel a certain type of way about the way that she's being treated. People can't defend her. People, if they do, they're her lapdog. And she just feels like the show is very one-sided, that she's not able to say what she wants to say. She's not able to, you know, basically be herself. Because if she does anything, people point her out to be the bad guy and the ladies or kind of like double teaming her and jumping on her. And she just feels like she's all alone. And she told the producer that too as well. And basically she says she's taking it one day at a time. And she says Marlo is not her lap dog. So get it straight. Get it right. And that's not even happening or going down too as well. And she's also responding to Candy Burris. When Candy said that I don't know why Nene thinks that me and Cynthia and Kenya Moore are in an alliance and keep keep our eye on them. She goes, that's not even the case. And, you know, Candy said that she was the first one to be fr to befriend Nene Leakes when she came back on the show. And that is very true. I also remember in the summertime, um, Candy Burris was also on the blogs talking nice about Nene Leakes, talking that, you know, she's getting counseling, you know, she's getting a spiritual advisor, you know, she wants to apologize to people and, you know, she's in good spirits and stuff like that. So, um, Candy was like, there is no alliance. Nene was like, just because you say there's not an alliance and just because you was the first person to befriend me doesn't mean that you, that you are not in an alliance. In my opinion, I think Candy and Cynthia and Kenya Moore got each other's back. I think they made a bond where, you know, they're going to be real with each other. They're going to tell each other everything. They're going to be 100. They're not going to keep any secrets from each other so they won't be surprised. And so they that they won't look weak at all too. So if that's an alliance, then they, they, they got an alliance all day, every day. But it could also be friendship. They could also have found a bond with each other. Sometimes that shit does happen at work when you find a bond in each other. People think a bond with your co-workers. Sometimes people think, oh, you guys are in a team together. Oh, you guys are going against these people. They basically found peace with each other and they can protect each other while they at work because work can be a very difficult, hostile environment depending on where you work at. <laughs> and you you probably don't get as much money as you need to get for the shit that you're taking at work. But these ladies at Real Housewife of Atlanta, they getting their money, baby. And Kenya's going to make sure she's going to get a pay raise. So we're going to see what's going to happen with this situation. I was like, mm, mm, mm. And Nene Leakes was like, I, I have people calling me and trying to hook up with me, asking me, is everything all right? What's going on with my family? You know, is the children okay? Is the kids okay? Is this person okay? Is that person okay? She just like, you know, she's just been getting bombarded. With so many phone calls, people asking her, is she okay? Because, you know, Wendy Williams broke the news that, hey, you know, there's something going on with Wendy. She's something heavy on her whore. And if you guys find out what's going on, you'll feel so much empathy for her. And you'll cry and you'll feel sorry for her. And, you know, people are speculating it's Greg. But people been calling Nini. Nini says she understands. And she's like, you know, the blogs are running around saying this and they're speculating. And thank you, Nini Leaks, for understanding that people are assuming, people are speculating, people are coming up with hypotheses to basically figure out what is heavy on your heart. Nini said it ain't nothing. Nini said her kids are fine. Nini says she's fine and she don't got no sickness. She ain't got no mental illness. She ain't got none of that. But she didn't say nothing about Greg. She didn't mention Greg in this conversation. So it's making me allude why wouldn't you say Greg? She could have just forgot about Greg because she said she was tired. She said she was toy, baby. So, you know, the speculation is that it's Greg. That, you know, Greg allegedly had an affair on Nene before he was diagnosed with pancreas cancer. And allegedly, you know, he has a, a child. 
and people are saying that's why ne that's why Wendy Williams can relate so well and she was almost in tears on that segment on her show. So you guys let me know what you think, but it's all rumors. There has been no proof. There's no evidence of this woman. There's no evidence of a baby. It's all story. It's all speculation. And it's what people are saying that are close to Nene Leaks camp, that are close to the people that are close to Nene and Greg are saying, but they don't say who said it, when they said it, and who are the people. So this is all speculation. And I'm glad that Nene Leaks understand that people are speculating. And it kind of is kind of determined. It kind of pisses her off too as well because she see what's going on in the blog. She see what people are saying about her because people want to know because she is a public figure. She's been on TV for, you know, a decade and change. And people want to know what's going on. And she understands that. So I'm glad, you know, she's not like, oh, why are you guys talking about me? I'm glad she's on that level. But also people are saying that, you know, the situation with Wendy Williams and Nene Leakes was just to forget about Snake Gate, B Squirt, and Yovana, and, and Letagate. That's what people are saying about that situation. Mm, mm, mm. So you guys tell me what you think about the situation. Peace, I'm out. Much love to all my peeps and my peoples. Peep Squad is in a building, baby. And a lot of people are also speculating that Nene Leakes was going to get the ax from Bravo, that she was going to be fired. And she tried to jump in before the story, you know, actually comes out with Bravo Network. But it doesn't seem like she's going to get fired. And if she wanted to jump out before the story comes out, she would have said something, you know. But it could be possible that Bravo's going to drop the news and then she's going to say, I wanted to quit in the beginning. That's what I text to Wendy. And we'll see what happens. You guys tell me what are your speculations. Peace.